Hey everybody and welcome to another one of my internet videos. Today we're going to be talking about the subterranean node from the Tyranid data slate onslaught. Almost said, almost said Leviathan. Uh, subterranean swarm. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that this swarm was pretty much just made for me. So let's get into what it involves. It has one Trigon Prime. One Trigon, one Moloch, and three Ravner Broods included in this formation. It has no formation restrictions, so you can do whatever you want to do with them, which is nice. But now, and this is my favorite part, so please go look at my Moloch uh, tactics videos, and you'll see, I think I'm in the, in the, in the same page with the people at Games Workshop. Formation special rules. They came from below. I'm just going to read it to you verbatim because it gets a little complicated here. All units in this formation must be placed in reserve. Must be placed in reserve. So that gets rid of that whole how many half your army in reserve question that many people had about my previous tactics videos. Make a single reserve roll. Just one for the entire formation, which goes back again to my comms relay upgrade on, on either the Aegis or the Bastion, allowing you to re-roll. Yes, very nice. Or, um, ba-boom, make a single reserve roll for the entire formation. When the formation arrives from reserve, deploy the Trigon Prime first by Deep Strike using its subterranean assault special rule. Once the Trigon Prime's final position has been established, the formation's three Ravener Broods immediately enter play. Place the Ravener units so that all of their models are wholly within six inches of the Trigon Prime's base and in unit coherency. These models cannot be placed within one inch of enemy models or within impassable terrain. If any models cannot be placed, these excess models are removed as casualties. The formation's Ravner Broods cannot move in the movement phase or charge on the same turn they arrive, but they can shoot or run. And if you happen to have Catalyst, they can shoot and run. The formations Trigon and Moloch interplay via Deep Strike as usual. I think that's pretty awesome. Now, if you just wanted the rules there, I'm done and bye. If you want the fluff, I'm about to give that to you now too. The strongest defenses of the prey may prove too costly in biomass simply to be worn down or smashed aside. Mighty fortifications, armor-plated bunker lines, and the like can prove a serious obstacle to the rapid onset of the swarm. In such instances, the hive mind may deploy a subterranean swarm to circumvent the enemy defenses altogether, undermining the enemy fortifications these broods will burst up through the ground to slaughter everything in the site. The Trigon Prime, at their heart, providing synaptic control for the other burrowing bioconstructs and raveners that the swarm in its wake. Boom. So, as I've said in my very first videos, if you're a Tyranid player, you should not be walking across the table. Just don't do it. Just, just don't do it. I hope you enjoy this, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.